I'm Alan Spears with Occupied Democrats, and I'm no fashion expert, but I don't think an orange jumpsuit is particularly fashionable or stylish. Be that as it may, Donald Trump may soon be attempting that fashion piece nonetheless, as things are not looking good for him in his trials. In a story that's still developing as of this recording, Occupy Democrats has learned that the Secret Service has actually met with local law enforcement and the local prisons that Donald Trump would potentially be serving his time in. Now, if you step back and think about this, this is actually really huge, as if the Secret Service are actually going ahead and moving forward with meeting with these local law enforcement, with meeting with the local staff at this prison, uh, that means there's a really solid chance that they all believe, at least, that Donald Trump may finally go to prison. Now, it should be noted that as of this recording, the trials have yet to fully wrap up, yet they are in their closing arguments, and probably within the next few days, we're going to get a verdict on Trump's hush money trial. Now, I want to keep expectations reasonable, as there is still a lot of that still needs to happen before Donald Trump will be putting on that wonderful orange jumpsuit he so rightfully earned and sets foot inside of a prison. Now, as a reminder, Donald Trump, as well as all former presidents, are entitled to the protection of the Secret Service for the rest of their lives. Now, considering the Secret Service protection and the fact that Trump is a former sitting president, he's not going to be sitting in the general population or is going to be anywhere near anyone else if he does end up serving this sentence. Now, if you're like me, you can always dream and fantasize about Trump being in with the rest of the general population of the prison, but uh, considering the kind of man he is, I doubt he'd make it very long. Now, it should be noted too that as of this recording, there hasn't been any sentencing, but we were rapidly approaching that and it could get really bad for the former president as he's facing a lot. <laughs> now, in a recent article published by Radar Online, we've learned a little bit more about this trial and what's going underway as these preparations for a potentially imprisoned Trump are beginning to kind of set into motion. Again, according to Radar Online, the Manhattan prosecutor, Duncan Levin, has recently discussed uh, information regarding Donald Trump's sentencing. Now, as Levin met with the prison staff to discuss Trump serving out his sentence, it should be noted that, again, according to Radar Online here, Trump could face up to four years in prison for each of the 34 charges filed against him. And can you imagine the wonder, the beauty, the glory of Donald Trump being removed from the public for four years? Now, I don't want to rain on anyone's parade or take away from this moment of potential victory, but it should be noted that even if Donald Trump is found guilty, and if he serves a minimum of four years, there is still a chance that he could get out of prison and immediately start campaigning again and run for president once again in 2028. The Constitution actually has very few requirements to meet with regards to someone being the United States president. They need to be a natural-born U.S. citizen, they need to have lived in the United States for at least the past 14 years, and they have to be at least 35 years of age. Outside of that, it's pretty much free game. Now, Donald Trump is already fairly old, and if he serves four years in prison, or hopefully more, I don't think he's going to have it in him. I don't think he will physically or mentally be capable enough to campaign or to try to be the president of the United States. I mean, he doesn't have that right now, but I'm just saying, you know? Now, again, as of this recording, the closing arguments are currently underway, and the jury is expected to start their deliberations shortly. Now, again, this is not a conventional or run-of-the-mill trial, as you are well aware. We have not had a trial with a former president who's had so many different charges levied against him. I would fully expect this trial to be a little bit longer and the jury to deliberate a little bit longer than you might typically expect. And while I'm certainly doubtful that Trump will actually serve out his maximum sentence and will likely get off with a reduced or a less punishing sentence due to the nature of him being a former president, I do think this man could actually see the inside of a prison and could face some semblance of justice. We are absolutely at a critical moment in our country, though. If Donald Trump is found guilty and actually sentenced and serves his time in prison, this will say loud and clear that no one, no one in our country is above and beyond the law, as it should be. 
But if Donald Trump is found not guilty, if the jury ultimately decides that there was not enough evidence to convict, or if this ultimately ends up being manipulated behind the scenes, we could have a huge problem on our hands. Trump has already proven that he has a vengeful mind and spirit. And I can only imagine that if he sees the White House a second term, he's going to use those four years, if not more, to seek out vengeance on everyone that put him through this. This is absolutely a massive development though, and we here at Occupy Democrats are gonna be covering it night and day. So stick around, subscribe, make sure you get the latest updates right here.